youth runner here uh, with the queen of Minnesota double A, but it was A plus today for Isabel Mahoney uh, from Monticello. 1856.4 in the final, uh, saving one of the best uh, efforts of the day for last uh, here uh, at Les Bolstad uh, Golf Course in the 38th Roy Griak uh, Invitational. Uh, that performance uh, would have ranked right up there with uh, the elite echelon in, in the championship race, but obviously uh, Isabel uh, so impressed at the fact that, you know, took the lead, uh, you know, a little bit more conservative and patient and the mile and then really just kind of asserted yourself in the second half. How proud were you of the execution? I was really proud. It was a tough day, but I just was so lucky to be here and I loved the race every second of it. My coach kept on telling me, enjoy the race, enjoy the race, and I really did that. The last coming down that home stretch and I heard everybody calling my name, cheering, I just couldn't imagine anything better than that. I'm so fascinated uh, when you are able to detach yourself from the group like you do you know, whether you're actually listening for coach, listening for teammates, listening for family, or just, you know, playing positive thoughts in, in your mind, like what's really pushing you and challenging you when you're in, in those moments, a large part of the race, you know, I mean, obviously, Carl was, was fantastic, yes. but I mean, a large portion of the race, you were really having to challenge yourself and push yourself. So what are the, what are the positive affirmations and the reassurances that are going through your mind when you're kind of by yourself like that? Yeah. Well, I gotta take every chance I can, I can get to run with other girls. So I took that first mile, or a little bit less, with the girls, and then I just had enough confidence to go out and try testing myself, see how fast I can go. And I ended up pulling them off. But I was just so proud of how I executed today. It was tough out. The heat got to me, but I just kept on saying, "Let's go, let's go." You know, got 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 to get through the race. <laughs> so obviously, patience for multiple reasons. Number one, because like I said, you are the last race of the day, yes. so you have the longest wait. Uh, but then also patience because it's September 20th, and obviously you want to be at your best in November state-wise, you know, Heartland regional-wise, we hope, you know, or, or Midwest regional if it's a footlocker path. But, uh, but just, you know, how kind of just affirmed or validated is, is the patience and the training and trusting in the process right now? Because like I said, it's only September 20th. Yeah, no, I definitely didn't want to get burnt out. So this summer I was just focusing on getting my base up there. And now I can really kick in in season and try my hardest during the workouts. But, you know, making sure I'm balancing rest and workouts because I don't get, I don't want to get burnt out or injured this early in the season because, you know, I have bigger goals. And I want to hopefully get to, you know, uh, regionals and we'll see if I can even get to nationals by this year or next year. But yeah, that's my hope. Most definitely. How much do you feel like uh, you, you've learned about what it means just to stay within yourself and, and race your own race? I mean, obviously, I know you have an incredible amount of respect for you know every woman you know that's that's lining up with you, but uh, but just uh, to be the best version of Isabel Mahoney, and you know, regardless of its you know the gold race, a championship race, a state race, a regional yeah. race, like just to trust in being the best version of yourself. Like, how much have you learned uh, about that, and are feeling even better about it now as a junior? My favorite quote is comparison is a thief of joy because that's really true yeah I compared myself when I was younger but it didn't get me anywhere because you just gotta end the day focus on yourself and making yourself better because you know the only person who's gonna do that for you is yourself and you just gotta trust in yourself and give it your all see where it takes you honestly I'm Absolutely. just so grateful to be here Most yeah. definitely. Isabel last thing you said obviously you know a little bit warmer out there today but I guess if we're looking at what could be the contrast in Minnesota as it could be in the 30s and 40s and raining and windy and and, and muddy like do you cherish a day like uh, today knowing that they're few and far between in Minnesota yeah I mean every race is you know unexpected like it regionals I know it can be like 30 or even like 20 out so you just gotta enjoy every race despite weather despite course because this course is hard of course and yeah there's lots of hills but you just gotta enjoy every race because you only get so many in your high school career so. absolutely uh, well thankfully Lord willing help providing we get to see her for a whole nother year yeah. uh, on top of the rest of this cross-country season and, and winter and spring track but uh, but an absolutely brilliant effort again 1856 uh, largely by, uh, by herself and it would have matched up with uh, the best of the best for many state in the championship race can't wait to see her acquaint herself uh, and reacquaint herself with all those women uh, come November at the, at the regional level but for right now we are celebrating her as a Roy Griot champion Isabel great job thank you so much I appreciate it